I did it because I have come to realize what many people in the Republic have come to realize, that the Jedi are the ones responsible for this war, that we've so lost our way that we have become villains in this conflict, that we are the ones that should be put on trial, all of us. And my attack on the temple was an attack on what the Jedi have become, an army fighting for the dark side, fallen from the light that we once held so dear. This Republic is failing. It's only a matter of time. It was with those words that Jedi Padawan Beresafi confessed to the bombing of the Jedi Temple, an act that resulted in the death of six Jedi, as well as multiple clone troopers and temple workers. The confession was a considerable blow to an already vulnerable Jedi Order, as Barriss confirmed that the bombing was carried out by one of their own. Barriss's confession had other important ramifications, as one of the temple guards present to hear the Padawan's words would eventually fall to the dark side himself to become the Grand Inquisitor. But how did Ahsoka, the one who was initially blamed for the bombing, and who ultimately left the Order when the Jedi didn't trust her expressed innocence, interpret the betrayal perpetrated against her and the Jedi Order after Order 66? In this video expose, I will explain how Ahsoka viewed the actions of her former friend following the eradication of the Jedi and the rise of the Empire. The novel Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston gives us a clear view into Ahsoka's thoughts on Barriss's betrayal one year after Order 66. Having briefly explained to Bail Organa how she obtained her white lightsaber crystals by purifying them of their corruption by the dark side, Ahsoka concluded that the crystals must have been looted from the Jedi Temple. The conclusion worried Bail regarding Ahsoka's safety, as he believed the stolen lightsaber crystals signified, as he put it, a host of potential dangers for a Jedi Padawan. Upon hearing herself being referred to as a Padawan, Ahsoka told Bail, That name no longer has any meaning for me. Okay, more accurately, she told Bail clearly, I'm not a Padawan anymore. Recognizing that she was no longer a Jedi Padawan, Ahsoka reflected on the actions and betrayal of Barriss. Ahsoka told Bail that Barriss's actions were wrong in a number of different ways. She let her anger towards the Jedi and their participation in the Clone War cloud her judgment, causing Barriss to fail in considering the wider consequences of her actions. For Ahsoka, Barriss was wrong to have chosen the path of violence and for attempting to frame her for the crime. However, pretty amazingly, Ahsoka did also feel sympathy and compassion for her former friend, telling Bail that Barriss couldn't place her trust in anyone within the Order, given her belief that the Jedi had become an army fighting for the dark side. Ahsoka didn't see this simply as a failing for Barriss, but one for the Order itself as there was no one to assist Barriss with her fear of the war and the anger that it caused her. Further, and even more importantly for her own future, Ahsoka recognized that Barriss wasn't entirely wrong with her statements during her confession. Ahsoka could see, roughly one year after Order 66, that Barriss had an accurate perception of the Republic and Jedi, that they lost their traditional focus and were responsible for the war in their own ways. Ahsoka understood that there was something inherently wrong with the Jedi Order, just as Barriss stated in her confession, but the Order was far too committed and locked into its traditions to figure out what it was. Ultimately, Ahsoka concluded that had the Jedi listened to Barriss and truly tried to understand her position, the Jedi might have been able to look inward enough to end Palpatine's plan before he became Emperor. This is a powerful and honest interpretation of Barriss' betrayal one year after Order 66, as Ahsoka could clearly see the failure of Barriss, but also the failure of the Jedi. This interpretation would have a significant and lasting influence upon Ahsoka in her decision to join Bail and the initial steps to what would eventually be the Rebel Alliance. Because Ahsoka saw Barriss' failure as a representation that she was too focused on the past, in ensuring that the Jedi remained what they were, and that the Jedi were too focused on the future, 
attempting to fight the Clone War to ensure the survival of the Republic and Jedi as they knew it, Ahsoka chose a different path. Instead of focusing on the past or future, she chose a middle road, one that focused on the present and the needs of others. Through her alias of Fulcrum, Ahsoka chose to find good people who would listen to what others needed and do what needed to be done to help them. In doing so, Ahsoka was clearly influenced by the sympathy and understanding she had for Barriss, recognizing that if someone had only listened to the troubled Padawan, she too may have found a middle path. So there we have it, how Ahsoka interpreted Barriss' betrayal after Order 66. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For... That name no longer has any meaning for me.